Good evening. I'm uh, David Rubin, the Brown Foundation Curator of Contemporary Art at SEMA and the Curator of Psychedelic. And it's my pleasure to welcome you all tonight to a conversation with our esteemed guest, Alex Gray. <laughs> Before we begin, uh, just a few announcements. If, not already, if you have not already done so, please turn off your cell phones. I'd like to uh, once again express our extreme gratitude to the sponsors of the psychedelic exhibition, Sama Contemporaries, Jerry Gore, and the Toby Devon Lewis Philanthropic Fund of the Jewish Community Federation of Cleveland. Also, a few upcoming events. Next week, Tuesday night, May 11th, we will be screening the film Waking Life. And uh, for that event, uh, wine will be served at 6.30. The film will commence at 7. Um, it's uh, Richard Linkletter's philosophical meditation centering on a young man as he floats in and out of dream states. And following the presentation of the film, the filmmaker, Richard Linkletter, will be here for discussion with the audience. And on Tuesday, June 8th at 6.30 p.m., uh, in this room we'll be presenting an artist panel with uh, uh, five of the artists uh, from the Psychedelic Exhibition who live and work in San Antonio. And I'll be holding a dialogue at that time with George Cisneros, James Cobb, Mark Hoganson, Constance Lowe, and Alex Rubio. Is the mic still on? Okay. <laughs> It sounded like we lost it for a minute. All right. And then on Tuesday, July 13th, uh, please join us for the screening of the uh, film classic Tommy, the Who's Tommy film by Ken Russell. Um, and then following tonight's conversation, of course, Alex will be just outside this door, uh, very happy to sign books for you. So once again, thank you for all coming. And now it's my time to uh, officially welcome Alex and um, begin our conversation. Um, Alex, I know you were born in Columbus, Ohio. And um, you uh, went to the Columbus College of Art and Design. You worked for a while as a billboard painter. You studied at the Boston Museum School. And um, let's sort of, with that information, commence our, our dialogue. So we will begin, actually, with some of the artwork that you made as a child. So I guess my first question to you is really what your childhood life was like as a young artist who already obviously was aware that you wanted to make art. Well, I think that most people, given an opportunity, want to make art, you know, most children. Uh, like to scribble on pieces of paper and things. And until they get the idea somewhere along the line that they're not something that they always had been up to that point. And uh, so I just never stopped doing it. And uh, evidently, uh, this was something my mother gave me uh, many years ago but she had kept it in some box of my old, old stuff, and she said I was around five years old, which is hard for me to believe, but uh, it, uh, uh, it's a nice watercolor there. And then, <laughs> and then a, a gouache, uh, like uh, five years later, around age 10. Similar uh, kind of theme, but you could see if you were a Wilberian kind of integral uh, philosopher, then you might say that you were moving from the uh, uh, from the magical there, uh, to the mythical. Uh, the Grim Reaper is more of an archetype rather than just a, a kind of, uh, um, well. Well, draw, drawing something like that at the age, age of 10, I mean, did you feel that it was a, a, a scary image in any way? Well, I think that um, death, when really s contemplated, freaks most people out, you know, because it's the end of what is contemplating itself. It has to do something with that, you know. Am I more than my body? That's the, the question were you, that comes Were you thinking next. about those things at that early an age? I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, did, you, were you, did you have religious training as a child that influenced any of your uh, Well, once went at church, at Methodist Church, because that's what church my parents were in, 
I thought I saw Jesus' eyes follow me across the room. <laughs> you know, he's just kind of watching you. It, was, it wasn't a bad thing. I was right, really grateful, right. actually. Um, and I, uh, so I always had a personal visionary relationship with Jesus. And I think that uh, it's a healthy thing for everybody to have a relationship with Jesus just as a healing force because mm -hmm. he's a master of healing on an archetypal spiritual level. Okay. Know? Let's look at some of the other work you were doing as a child. You also started doing self-portraiture at a very early age. Yeah. What uh, prompted that? Uh, looking at Rembrandt. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. And so Rembrandt really early on had been uh, you know, really interested in the grimace and the, uh, you know, making funny faces in the mirror and then trying to capture that in a very spontaneous way. Had so, you seen any Rembrandt in person or was this strictly from books? Time Life series. Okay. The world of Rembrandt. <laughs> you know, it's like artists are a world, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and so there are whole pieces of my brain that are Rembrandt, you know, that nobody else is there. Or Beethoven, you know. Mm -hmm. If there weren't a Beethoven, then there wouldn't be a whole area in your brain that's Beethoven. So artists like Blake, they map a world, they, the visionaries. And, uh, and they, they map a world. Mm -hmm. And so it's the subject of the self. Uh, and uh, I think that that's my primary subject. What's the nature of the self, you know? And uh, what, who, uh, wh who, what, or uh, how, and how is uh, whatever is perceiving uh, at the source of perception, uh, how is it doing that? Were you taking art classes in high school uh, or junior high school during this period? Uh, not so much. Uh, my father had inspired me to uh, um, to draw, and uh, so uh, and then I just kept looking at the old masters and and feeling like uh, that uh, I was really an artist, but I didn't know how to really do that. Being out in Ohio and and uh, stuff. So, but uh, did, did you have a museum to visit at all? Had well, there was the Columbus Museum of Fine Arts there, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the art schools uh, at that 